Money has a number of different functions. Number one, money is to be used as a medium of exchange. So in this case, businesses will not accept it, so it cannot function as a medium of exchange. Does money have any other functions? Yes, it does. Money is used as a measure of value. How much should I pay for this? How much should I pay for that? How much should I pay for that? And money has a third function. Money should function as a store of value, to preserve value. Your grandfather uh, died in 1971. And uh, your grandfather left a hundred gold coins for you. Mm. But you were a baby. So they put the gold coins in a box and they locked it up. And they waited until you had grown up. And then maybe 25, 30 years later, they opened the box and they say, here you are. This is what your grandfather left for you. Uh, because at that age, you said, well, I want it now. You were not interested in getting it earlier. When they opened the box and they gave you what your grandfather had left for you, the value was the same. Oh, yes. He left you a hundred gold coins, a hundred ounces of gold, and you got a hundred ounces of gold. If a hundred ounces of gold could have bought a hundred cattle, at that time, we you found that a hundred ounces of gold could still buy a hundred cattle? At this time, demand and supply remaining constant. So your money had preserved its value. But suppose, instead of putting the 100 gold coins in the box, they took the 100 gold coins and they converted it to US dollars. And they said, you know, we can trust this money. Why? Because it says there in the US dollar, it says, in God we trust. So they said, well, we can trust it. So they changed the US dollars, the 100 ounces of gold, to US dollars in 1971. And they put the money in a box and they locked it up. A hundred ounces of worth of gold in US dollars. Good. Now let us see whether the US dollar can compare with gold in integrity, or whether it is just as bogus as 9-11. 20, 25, 30 years later, when they opened the box and they handed you the US dollars, and you went in the market to see what is the value now, with the goal, you could have bought a hundred cattle. If with one gold coin, you could buy a cattle or maybe a, a, a goat or whatever it is, one gold coin. You found to your horror that with this paper, you can no longer buy a hundred cattle. You could only buy 93. Sorry, you can only buy seven, my mistake, I'm <laughs> apology. You can only buy seven cattle. Seven? So 93? I have lost 93 gold coins? I have now received from my grandfather only seven coins? Seven gold coins? The value of seven gold coins? 
because the US dollar has lost its value by 93%? Where did that money go? When the p value of the money keeps on falling, there is a transfer of wealth taking place. So where did the 93 gold coins go? Malcolm X would be interested, yes, because Malcolm wants to know the truth. But there are others who don't care for the truth. They only care to protect their radio station and protect their na television station and protect their newspapers and protect their names. And they call themselves men and women of integrity. Imran Hussein has a message for you. You better wake up if you want to be less than a footnote on the page of history. I'll tell you where it went. The 93% of your wealth has gone, it's been trans transferred to a part of the world which is getting richer and richer, while Africa gets poorer and poorer. Yes. One part of the world is getting richer and richer because of this monetary system, while the rest of the world is getting poorer and poorer. That's why, that's why Africa is so poor. That's why Pakistan and India are so poor. That's why so much of India is so poor, while another part of India is on the gravy train. Hmm? It's a bogus, a bogus monetary system. So we keep our gold and silver because we want to protect and preserve our wealth. That's why we keep gold and silver. My answer to you, South Africa, Gold and silver function successfully as a store of value, while paper money does not and electronic money will not.